Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a slightly different video and I'll talk about the kind of pens I like. So, uh, I have a lot of pens and I have very different ones. I have been showing some of them uh, on the videos I publish here on the YouTube channel, but we all have preferences about specific characteristics of fountain pens. However, I found that my preferences or requirements I have about pens are often contradictory with the pens I really have in my collection. So, I will show you now what are my favorite characteristics about a pen. And so, I prefer modern pens around the 1970s to the 1980s. And you have here several examples. This is a Parker 45 and this is a pilot costume from Japan and also a Pelican P476. So I like pens from these dates, but I have pens that are much older than these also. I have here a Parker Deluxe Challenger. I also have a vintage Aveco Sport or even a Conklin Nosec that was from my grand grandfather. But I like these. I have older ones, but I also have much newer pens, such as these very recent ones as the Parker Centennial Default Classic Big Red, which is a recreation of a vintage Parker Default. Let me adjust the focus a little. I also have a pen like this, which is a Montegrappa Game of Thrones, as you can read there, which is a beautiful pen. Or even these quite recent Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore and this, is, this color is the Passion Red very beautiful pen that I already reviewed about the age it's what I like but there's also a preference in terms of size and so I prefer bigger pens and what I mean about bigger pens are pens like this, like a Parker Senior Default. This is the original one that inspired Parker to make this newer version. Or I like a pen like this, which is the Sailor 1911 Large. Or even a Lamy LX, which is not as thick, but it is quite a large pen. But although I like bigger pens, I can't say I don't like smaller pens. And in that example, I have here a rotting esprit that gets bigger when we push the when you take out the cap. But it is a fairly small pen. The Caveco Sport that you know it is a favorite of mine. Or even this very small Philcal Mini, which is a very good writer, but very, very small pen. And this is about size, but there is also the kind of finish, the colors we like. I have to say that I like transparent pens. And a few examples here. This is the Caveco Classic Sport, this is the older Caveco Sport by Diplomat, which is transparent. Also, another transparent pen I have here is the Lamy Vista, or even the Pelican 805 Demonstrator. Quite beautiful pens. But if I like transparent pens, I have to say that I even like more yellow pens. And just as an example, I have here a Parker Centennial Default 
citrine check, which is this beautiful um, acrylic, yellow one. Also, I have here a Waterman Expert, a pen that I have to review that has a serious problem of corrosion on the nib. And also, for example, the Pilot Lucina, which is also a very nice bright yellow pen. And if I have pens I like, like the transparent ones and the yellow ones, there are also colors that I don't like that much, but I'm not coherent and I have some of those also. So when we are talking about colors I don't like that much, we have the white and this is the very well-known Pelican M100 Stormtrooper. Black, uh, white with black trim. An interesting pen, but it's not my favorite color, but I think the pen is beautiful. We also have this other pen, and this is the Cross Solo White. Nice look, very similar to the overall look of the Pelican. And we have these, this Ivory White Parker 100, one of my favorite pens ever, the Parker 100. But if this is my favorite, and I don't like those that much the white. I also have pens from a color that I like even more, even less, sorry, which is the red. And I don't like that much red, but I have some red pens. You, here you have a Schiffer No Nonsense with a calligraphy nib, or we may have these, I don't know the maker, but this Ferrari red pen, or even this stunning red Montegrappa Oriental Zodiac dragon with this silver overlay with a dragon. I can't say this isn't a stunning pen, but it is red. I don't like red, but I can't be indifferent to this beautiful finish. But this is about the colors. And what about the nibs? I also like a specific kind of nib. And the specific kind of nib I like is somehow a big open nib where you can show, where, where you can see all the, all the looks, all the details of the nib. And here is the Pilot Bamboo with this beautiful nib. Beautiful, elegant pen with a beautiful big nib. Also another pen with a big nib and yes, here I am again with the Parker Dufold, so you can see which one is one of my really favorite pens, is this the Parker Senior, Senior Dufold, or even this monstrous nib on the Mont Blanc uh, 149. So, I like pens with big nibs, and you guessed it, if I have pens with big nibs, I also have pens with small nibs. And the pens with small nibs I have it's, for example, the Caveco Sport, which are quite small, and this is a Caveco Ice Sport. We also have, let me put this a little further, we also have another Parker Du Fold. This is not in good shape, I have to clean it. And this is a Parker Lady Du Fold, so as you can see, it has a very small nib. Let me just show you against the Parker Centennial Du Fold. Uh, Centel sorry, a Parker Senior Du Fold. It is very small. So I have also pens with small nibs, and also these strange, almost vintage Chinese pens, which are the Tatung. Uh, just let me check the 
name of model 361, which are these very, very short pens with these very small nibs. So I have pens with small nibs. And although I like open nibs, there are pens with semi hooded nibs. And the pens with semi hooded nibs, I have some examples here. We have this Senator, which model I don't know, but which I like a lot, which has a partially covered nib, so a semi hooded nib. We also have these, and this is like that one Parker 45 with a semi hooded nib, and also this one, which is a Caveco V66, also a semi hooded nib. And if we are talking about semi hooded nibs, of course the hooded nibs will come. And about hooded nibs, I will show you a couple. This looks like a Parker 51, but it is a, it is not. It is a Ving Sung. Um, sorry, but of the focus. This is a Ving Sung 601, 613. Uh, sorry, 613. And we have also the Parker 100 that I already showed you in white, and this is the smoke bronze color. Great pen. And we also have this Aurora 88, also with a hooded nib, following the design of the Parker 51. And let's move on to some other variations. And there are other kinds of nibs, and these are the inlaid nibs and inlaid nibs are nibs that are inlaid in the section and you have here an example in this inox chrome 77 or these waterman hen or even the most iconic inlaid nib of all which are, which is the schiffer Nib, the Schiffer Legacy. And um, this is what I have to say about nibs. But there's also the materials of the pens, of which pens are made. I have to say that my favorite material of all is acrylic. And so I have some acrylic pens. This is the Caveco Art Sport. Amber. This is a very, very hard to find pen in this particular color, but it is acrylic, not ABS plastic like that one. I also have this pen that I got recently, which is stunning, really beautiful, this finish, which is the Leonardo Ficina Italiana Furore. Uh, sorry, Furore is that one. This is the Momento Zero, and the color is Pietra Marina. And as you can see, the, the acrylics uh, allow for very beautiful shading. And also this one. This is a Parker International Blue Fold with a beautiful marble blue color. And I'm, get, I'm running out of space. Let me just open here some space to put some pens across there. And we talked about the, my favorite finish, which is the my favorite material, which is acrylic, but there is also metal. And metal pens is something I like. And my, my most favorite metal of all is copper. And I have this Caveco Lilliput, a very small pen made of solid copper, very heavy for its size. but quite nice. And also, this one, this is beautiful. This is the Montegrappa Fortuna Mool, which is also made of copper, a very nice looking pen. And if we are talking about copper, I can't skip this beast, which weighs almost um, 150 grams. And it is a Chris Thompson replica of a Parker Dufold made of solid copper. So this pen is really, really heavy and 
all made of copper gets this beautiful patina and copper is my favorite pen my favorite metal material for pens but there is also a but i also have pens made of stainless steel aluminum or brass and let me just show you a couple i have here a parker 105 which is made of steel i even have a pen made of aluminum and this is the diplomat aero factory which has a unfinished aluminum uh, finish and also this pen bbs brass this one is made of brass as the name tells us and this is not all we have more pens here and other materials that pens can be can be made of are materials like wood and i have these Montegrappa Fortuna uh, and this is made of ebony it is very beautiful pen and no this is not made of ebony sorry this is made of dark teak um, this is made of ebonite and this is a Parker DQ which is something similar to a Parker Dufold and this is all made of ebonite and I also have another pen that I recently got which is this Penteo Bonita oversized black a very big pen all made of ebonite also and if we are talking about materials we can also talk about something else that is very important and there are very people give a lot of importance to which is the filling system my favorite filling system of all is the cartridge converter because it gives me more options and it is more flexible to use and here we have again a parker 45 and why so many parker 45s because i really think parker 45s are one of the best pens ever made and also another example another montegrappa fortuna this is the crown skull which also has cartridge or converter now it has a converter inside and we have also another cartridge converter pen and this is the cross townsend medalist which takes these little cartridges or converters and just to finish this bunch of pens before i ruin some of them they are being put up in in top of the other very carefully so don't be afraid i won't scratch them there are people that prefer more vintage or some kind of other filling systems that are more have more ink capacity and we have here a vintage parker vacuumatic which has a vacuumatic as the name indicates filling system and there is also more unusual kind of filling system with these Marlon Aureus, which has beautiful pen, which has this sorry, which has this slot to press a coin inside. So it is a coin filler, which is an even different kind of filling system. And you may even have this one which is one of the most common and i think it is one of the most favorite from many people which is the piston filler in this montegrappa montegrappa coral and so this is an overview of the kinds of pens i like and even some kinds of pens or characteristics of pens that i don't like so much and 
I could go forever with these contradictory examples, but the main message is it doesn't matter how you prefer in advance. What really matters is how you prefer, is what you prefer uh, when you use it. It doesn't matter if you say, if you decide that your favorite feeling system is one, when you start using and you find out it is another. We definitely can like different pens at the same time, independently how different, uh, how different they may look from each other. And this is, you can see this here. I like all these pens, but some of these pens have are very different from each other and they have some have characteristics that make me like them and another characteristics that I don't know why because I don't like the characteristics but I like the pen that has them so this is all by the way if you saw in this video any pen you would like to see a review of please leave me, leave me a comment below on the comment section and let me know uh, if I didn't make the review, I can try to make that review soon, if you tell me which pen you'd like to see. And this is all. I hope you liked the video. Don't worry, the pens are very well treated. They are not scratched. I will take them very carefully one by one. I will not throw them into a bucket. Don't worry. No pens were armed or will be armed during this video and um, I hope you liked it if you did please subscribe our YouTube channel we are trying to grow in subscribers and keep coming back for more videos like this and tell me what you think about it and I'll try to make it more each time more interesting for you so this is all for today thank you and see you next video bye